because I really want to drill this in. So just to refresh your memory, the oxidation process is when you lose electrons. That's what we call the process of oxidation is when something loses electrons. If something is undergoing an oxidation process, it's also called a reducing agent in the reaction because a reducing agent is the thing that donates the electrons. If something's undergoing reduction, that means it's gaining electrons and accepting those electrons. And because of that, it's also called an oxidizing agent. That, that item that we're talking about, whatever's being reduced in the reaction is called an oxidizing agent because that's the thing that's accepting the electrons. I'm trying different ways to explain this to you so that you can kind of get the point across, but the bottom line is, you have oxidation, losing electrons, reduction, gaining electrons. These agent definitions are just another way of renaming the exact same thing. And you have to learn both of them when you talk about chemical reactions in the redox world. Because a lot of times your book will talk about the oxidizing agent or the reducing agent, and you need to know what they're talking about. So let's get started. Uh, let's look at a reaction real quick, a half reaction I should say. What if we have lithium, which is a positive ion. Let's say that we have something like this. And the question I have for you is, is this an oxidation process or is this a reduction process? Well, here we have lithium ion, so it's already a positive charge. An electron comes along with that lithium ion and out comes a neutral lithium uh, atom. So we have a single plus one charge here. We have the electron, which is negative one combining. We get a neutral result. So what we have is some item that is accepting electrons. It's gaining an electron in this process. So this is going to be called a reduction process. So that's what we need to, to write down. So this is called reduction. Really, in order to identify oxidation or reduction, all you have to do is look and see, is the item you're talking about taking in electrons or is it donating electrons back into the uh, solution or whatever we're talking about? So let's say number two. Let's say we have two iodine ions and that just yields I2 plus two electrons. Uh, iodine is one of those diatomic molecules. Usually you see it exists as I sub two. So what we have is, uh, and this is balance notice because we have two iodines, two iodines, and so on. So what we have to figure out is from the reaction here, is this oxidation or is it reduction? Well, we have a species and what we see is, yes, we end up with a neutral guy, but what ends up happening is some electrons split off from the original ion we start with. So some electrons are leaving the scene of the crime, so to speak. So we're losing electrons. And because we're losing electrons, this is called an oxidation process. And you can see that from over there. So oxidation. So basically in these half reactions, if you see electrons leaving the scene of the crime, we start with something and then you end up with something electrons are leaving, that's losing electrons. That is electron donation. And so that is oxidation. All right, now what if we have H2 yields two hydrogen ions plus two electrons? Now make sure you understand what's happening here. We have H2, that's a diatomic molecule, two hydrogen atoms bound together. And then we have the reaction where two of these electrons peel off because we have two hydrogen atoms. One electron comes from each of the hydrogen atoms there. What we're left with is two hydrogen ions. So two electrons peel off, one from each atom. So we're left with two ions, each with a charge of plus one. Because if you look at your periodic table, hydrogen really likes to be plus one when it can, because it's in that first column there. And each of these ions had, does have a charge of plus one. But is this an oxidation process or a reduction process? And if you look at it, the original species we have is electrons are leaving the scene of the crime, changing it into something else. So they're off going on to something else. So this is oxidation. It's an oxidation process because this hydrogen atom is losing electrons. And then finally, let's say we have something like iron with a charge of positive three plus an electron uh, gives this iron with a charge of positive two. Is this oxidation or is this reduction? This is a little different because we're starting with an ion and we're ending with an ion. But notice what's happening. This has a charge of positive three. This means that in this state, iron, which is a neutral atom, has already lost three electrons. That's why it's positive three. So we gain an electron here, 
And when we do that, we change the charge from plus three to plus two because we have one more negative charge in there and that's gonna change the, the net charge on this guy uh, back up to plus three. If we had gained three electrons here, it would make this iron neutral again, but we did not gain three electrons. We only gained one. So we still have a charge on the iron uh, but it's a plus two. It's getting closer to zero as we add these electrons back in. So since this guy is accepting electrons or gaining electrons, then we call this reduction.